Buenas noches. Oh, hello, hello, hello. Good evening, good evening, good evening. Hello, hello. One moment, please, one moment. Okay, no problem. Hello, hello, good evening. Welcome, welcome everyone. How are you? Good night. Good evening. Repeat, good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, hello, teacher. Hello, hello, welcome to today's class. This is class number two. Are you ready? Are you ready or no? Yes. I'm Are you ready? ready? Teacher. Are you yes. ready or not ready? Yes, yes. <laughs> okay, let's go one. over feedback. What do you remember from yesterday's class? What do you remember? Uh, transportation. Transportation, yes. For example, for example, give me an example. Bus. A bus. Hey, 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 guys, wow. a bus. A bus. What wow. do you do with the bus? What do you do with the bus? What is the what is the action verb? Take a bus. Correct. Take a bus. Repeat I I, I take a bus. A bus. Another transportation. Another transportation. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. Right there. Bicycle, 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 bicycle or motorcycle. Ride the action verb. Ride a bicycle. Okay, Brian, Edwin, I got you. Thank you. Okay, other transportation, other transportation. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Well. Walk, of course, that's very economic. Walk, <laughs> what else, what else, what else? Taxi. And what is the action verb? Uh, take. take a taxi, correct. You can say taxi or cab. You can say taxi or cab, okay? Wow. Very well, thank you guys. So the next question is, how do you get to work? How do you get to work? How do you get to school? How do you get to the university? Can you give me an example, please? Please watch that audio. Give me an example. Give me an example. Okay, I'm going to give you an example. I'm going to give you an example. In my case, I ride my bicycle. <laughs> no, 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 no my motorcycle i i ride ride right i ride my motorcycle to work okay 
Capitch? So okay. what about you? What about I you? I just walked to my university. You just walked to the university. How many minutes does it take? Just like 20 minutes. 20 minutes, that's a healthy walk. Good for you, thank you. Thank you. Uh-huh, guys. How do you get to work? Tell me, tell me, tell me. Uh-huh. Hello. I take the bus. You take the bus, Daisy. That's good, Daisy. That's good. Thank you. Tell me, tell me, tell me. I'm all ears. I drive my car. You drive your car, Anna. Okay. Drive safe. Drive defensively. <laughs> all right. What else? What else? I'm all ears. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Uh-huh. What else? It's hot, hot, huh, Kimberly. It's very hot, hot, huh, Kimberly. Really hot. <laughs> yes. San Miguel. To San Miguel. Woohoo! I'm gonna visit San Miguel soon. I'm gonna visit you in San Miguel. Okay. What's up? Give me another example. How do you go to work? Uh-huh. No more. Brian Roles, Flores, yeah? Present bueno. teacher. Okay, okay, okay. Vamos ahorita a la asistencia. Ya que se conectaron casi todos. Let's check that out. Let's check that out. Basic module two. ¿Está lloviendo donde ustedes, chicos? Yes. Training? Yes. Training. No. Okay. No? No. Okay. Some areas in El Salvador, it's raining right now. So, raining season, it's starting. Let's start with uh, Abigail, Noemi, Martinez, Martinez. I am here. Excellent. Avner. No, wait, wait, wait. Is this me? Yeah, this is me. Okay. Avner Etl Cano Silvestre. Ana Gabriela Correas Martinez. Present. Azucena Beralice Bela Muñoz. Present. Brian Edwin Flores Contreras. I am here, teacher. Daisy Magdalena Hernandez Hernandez. Here I am, teacher. Awesome. You are awesome. Edgardo Antonio Fajardo Polanco. Elena Gabriela Jovel Valle. Present teacher. I got you both. I got you both. Eric Mauricio Martinez Cabrera. Present teacher. Got you. Gladys Elizabeth Justiano Duran. Here teacher. Already. Helen Idalia Ramos de Escalante. Iris Elena Ventura Martinez. I'm here, teacher. I'm happy. Okay, Jenny Marielos Montes Gomez. Joana Abigail Flores Diaz. Jose Fernando Hernandez Garcia. I am here. All right, welcome. Juan Rafael Esquina Aguilar. Katie Abigail Montano Rivas. I'm here. Kimberly Janet Fuentes de Rivera. Present. Nelson Rolando Melgar. Oscar Alberto Aguilar Romero. Rebecca Eunice Hernandez Rodas. Present. Rosemary Beatriz Ramirez Someta. Sofia Elizabeth Perez Ruiz. Veronica Lisette Marroquín de Santos. Thank you. Vilma Heidi de Cortez Beltran. Here I am, teacher. Thank you, Vilma. Wendy Abigail Rivera de Escamilla. Me suena, me suena este nombre. 
Ok, pero bueno, eh, tenemos algo de ausencias este día. Ok, watch that. Nelson, ya vamos. Entonces, al final pasamos listo otra vez, ok. Bueno, entonces, let's start. Let's start, ladies and gentlemen. Eh, espero que todos sepamos cómo responder eso ya, ¿verdad? I take the bus, I go by taxi. Remember, usamos una preposición by con el transporte, ¿ok? Thank you, Wendy. Ya vamos a pasar la asistencia later, 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 later. Let me share, let me share my screen, let me share my screen. Here we go. One second, please. And there you go. Okay, let's check. We already saw this one. Hi, everyone. Okay, no. very well. We already saw this one. Perfect. We're going to go to the next one, okay? We're going to go to the next page. One second. Okay, so we're going to make simple statements using regular verbs. That is today's topic. Okay. Um, see, simple present statements. Let's watch this one. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to form simple present statements using regular verbs. Let's get started by practicing the statements that you see on the screen. I walk to school. I don't live far from here. You ride your bike to school. You don't live near here. He works near here. He doesn't work downtown. She takes the bus to work. She doesn't drive to work. We live with our parents. We don't live alone. They use public transportation. They don't need a car. Contractions. Don't equals do not. Doesn't equals does not. The examples illustrate how we can form positive statements and negative statements. Let me start by explaining how we can form positive statements. In order to form positive statements in the simple present, you need to follow this formula. Subject plus verb plus complement. For example, I walk to school. I is the subject. Walk is the verb. And um, school. Okay, we're going to stop right there. And I want to go over this information with you. Simple present. Simple present statements. Present. This is in the present tense. And please repeat after me. I walk to school. I walk, I walk, to, walk school. to school. This is when you say an affirmative statement. For example, I walk to school. I walk to school. Repeat, I take the bus. Repeat, I take the bus to school. I take the bus to school. This is similar to the examples we were practicing before. Repeat, I ride my bicycle to school. I ride my bicycle. This is simple. Subject, the verb, and the complement. Yes? Repeat. I take a taxi to my work. I take a taxi to my work. I is the subject. Take is the verb. A taxi is the complement. Repeat, I take a taxi to my work. I take a taxi to my work. When you say a negative sentence, you're going to use don't. Repeat, don't. 
For example, I don't live far from here. For example, I don't have a car. I don't have a car. I don't take a taxi. I don't take a taxi. Do you understand? The negative is subject I, auxiliary don't or doesn't, the verb and the complement. Okay. Next example. You ride. You ride your bike. You ride your bike. You don't live near here. You don't live near here. Okay. Cuando es las terceras personas le vamos a agregar s al verbo. For example, he works. He works near here. Escribimos esa S y la pronunciamos. She takes the bus to work. Repeat, he works near here. He works near here. She takes the bus to work. The auxiliary for negative statements for he and she is doesn't. Repeat, doesn't. Doesn't. Yes. I, you, we, and they don't. Repeat. I, I, I you, you, we, we. They, they don't. They don't. They don't. Don't. Repeat, repeat. I don't. I, I don't. You don't. I, you don't. We don't. We don't. We don't. don't. They, they don't. They don't. don't. They don't. He, she, it doesn't. She, 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 she is doesn't. doesn't. He, she, he, it, that's it. That's it. She, she, it, doesn't. For example, he doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't. She 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 doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't. For example, he doesn't work downtown. For example, she doesn't drive to work. She doesn't drive to work. Repeat, we live with our parents. We live with our parents. We don't live alone. We don't live alone. They use public transportation. They use public transportation. They don't need a car. They don't, they don't, don't need, need a car. car. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so the contractions for do not is don't. Okay. Don't. And the contraction for does not is does not. doesn't. Not. Does not. So, what is the formula for a simple present statement? Is the subject, yes, the verb, the verb, the verb in this case, and the, and the complement. We're going to use do not for the pronouns I, you, we, and they. We're going to use does not for the pronouns he, she, and it. Guys, please remember this information. This is very important for you to remember. Okay? Remember that. 
and the contraction for those pronouns are don't and doesn't. Now let me write the formula. We're going to have a subject plus don't or doesn't. Okay, first we're going to do affirmative. We're going to do affirmative write... examples. Okay, for example, subject plus the verb plus complement. Subject plus verb plus the complement. Okay, can you give an example using the subject, I... the verb, and the yeah, complement? Can you give one example? Well, does no. The example. One help. example. One Plus. example. Negative. Hello? Subject plus verb plus complement. Oh, hello? He doesn't take the bus. Okay, that's a negative example. He doesn't take the bus. Let's take a look at uh, our next example. We're using affirmative, affirmative, okay, affirmative. You is the subject. Subject, verb, complement. For example, your bike. I take the bus to work, okay? Do you understand? Okay. So one example, can you give me one example, similar example, please? Third person. We're talking about. Um, I walk to a school. I walk to school. Okay. ¿Quién me dijo eso? What's your name? Daisy. Daisy. Okay. Daisy dijo, I walk to school. ¿Quién me ayuda a pasar ese ejemplo en tercera persona? She walks to school. Correct. She walks, she walks, le ponemos la letra S, ¿verdad? She walks to school. Thank you, Edgardo. Ok, vamos con un ejemplo más. One more example in affirmative. Subject, verb, complement. Uh, she take a taxi. Sería en tercera persona, ponemos la S en takes. She takes. She takes. A taxi. Muy bien. She takes a taxi. That's totally correct. Thank okay. you, Kimberly. Okay. Vamos a ver. ¿Hay algún voluntario más para un ejemplo? One more volunteer. I take a bus to my work. I take the bus to my work. En tercera persona, she takes the bus to work. Ok, excellent. Estamos claros entonces con affirmative. Vamos entonces a negative. Cuando es negative, tenemos que estar atentos en el sujeto. ¿Por qué? Porque si es I, you, we and they, el auxiliar va a ser don't. Si es he, she, it, el auxiliar va a ser doesn't. All right. Entonces tenemos ahí don't or doesn't. Ok. Subject, don't or doesn't. Verb and complement. For example, he doesn't ride a bike to work. He doesn't ride a bike to work. Él no se va en la bicicleta, ¿verdad? Al trabajo. Okay, can you give one negative example? Follow the formula. Follow the formula. She doesn't walk to a school. She doesn't walk. Walks to a school. She doesn't walk to a school. That's correct. She doesn't walk. Ella no camina a la escuela. Maybe she takes the bus or maybe she takes a taxi, right? Maybe she has a transportation. That's great. Thank you. Can you give me a negative example, guys? Let's go. She doesn't 
He doesn't take So if we take a look at one of our examples. Correct. Correct. Can you repeat, please? Can you repeat? She doesn't live in my house. Okay, correct. That's a negative example. Thank you so much. Let's continue. I don't live far from here. I is the subject. Don't is the auxiliary verb. Live is the verb. And then the complement is far from here. Let's take a look at one more example. She doesn't drive to work. She is the subject. Doesn't is the auxiliary verb. This is the third person that I was talking about earlier. Drive is the verb. In this case, I would like for you to notice that we don't add an S. And the reason is because we have an auxiliary verb. So every time there is an auxiliary verb, we will omit the rule of adding an S. Bueno, él acaba de decir que en el negativo no le ponemos la letra S. Se fijaban que cuando hacíamos un ejemplo positivo en tercera persona, por ejemplo, she takes the bus, poníamos la S, ¿verdad? En la afirmación. Pero cuando hacemos una negativa, el verbo tiene que ir en su base porque estamos usando doesn't, estamos usando un auxiliar. Entonces ahí solo asegurarnos de usar el auxiliar correcto dependiendo del subject y um, usar el verbo en su base tal cual. To work. Pregunta, perdón. Is the complement. Now is your turn to practice. I would like for you to describe your transportation habits. And also talk about the transportation habits of friends and relatives. The idea is to make positive and negative statements about yourself and others. For example, I don't drive to work. I take the bus. Okay, we're going to give personal examples. I don't drive to work, for example. I take the bus. One negative, one positive. Also, for a family member. My sister drives to work. She has a new car. You have to talk about you and a family member. That's the activity right now. You have to talk about you and a family member. For example, for example, I ride my motorcycle to work. I don't walk. That's for me. And my family member is my father, okay? My father drives to work. He has a car, right? My father drives to work. He doesn't, he doesn't take a taxi, okay? Okay, okay, okay. Picture this one and give me an example. Prepare your examples, ladies and gentlemen. Prepare your examples and tell me. Something affirmative, okay. something negative. Go ahead. My mother doesn't drive mm -hmm. to a market. Mm -hmm. he takes, uh, she takes the bus. Perfect. Or she takes a uh, uh, taxi. She takes a taxi. And you? What about you, Edgardo? And my, I take the bus or take a taxi mm -hmm. for to go to a university. Mm -hmm. Can you say something negative about you? I don't walk and I don't take the subway. <laughs> All right. Fabulous job, Edgardo. You got it. Next volunteer, next volunteer. Who is next? Who is next? Hello? Um, my father rides your bicycle. His. So 
his bicycle. His, his right, sorry. Uh, his bicycle, so he doesn't walk to work. Correct, Iris, correct. Can you tell me the example about you now? Um, my, my brother drives a car. He doesn't take the bus. All right, thank you, Daisy. Thank you, Daisy. Let me finish with Iris. Iris, you're going to say your personal example, right? Okay. Um, I am work to my university, so I don't take a bus. Thank you so much, Iris. Thank you so much. Who Thank else? You. Daisy, are you going to say your personal example? Something affirmative and something negative. Or any other volunteer, volunteers, volunteers, let's go. Speaking time. Participation time. Let's go. I don't walk to the school, but I have a car. All right, because you have a car, so you drive to work, okay? And about a family member? Uh-huh, about a family member, about your father, your mother, or your brother, or your sister? No. Okay, next example, next example, go ahead. Uh, my sister take a bus to the work. To work. My brother to work. Um, my brother um, ride motorcycle to work. Say my brother. My brother rides. Rides his his motorcycle. Yes. To work. Yes. And you and you, Kimberly. What about you? Mm. I take the bus. Okay, say something negative. Uh, I don't uh, take the taxi. Very good, Miss Fuentes. Next volunteer, next volunteer. Next, 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 next. Talk to me, talk to me. No more, no more. I'm waiting for you. I'm waiting for you. I'm listening. It's about you and about a family member. Yes? It's about you and a family member. Give me an example. Go ahead. Participation, folks. Participation, folks. Talk to me in English. Something affirmative, something negative. Uh huh. Let's go with big teams. Brian Flores. Tell us, Brian. Tell us, Brian. Something affirmative and something negative. Uh huh. Rebecca Hernandez, go ahead. <laughs> Where's um, Mary Beatrice? Let's go. Okay, it's okay. Um, affirmative. My mm -hmm. son and me walk to a school. Okay. Yeah. And negative. We don't take the bus to a school. Fantastic, Rosemary. You got it. You got it. Let's go with Azucena. But Alice. Estoy entendiendo ahorita, teacher. Vaya, pues, estamos en proceso ahí, mis. Atención, entonces, a los demás. Vamos ahí. ¿Quién? Oh, it's okay. Pues estamos haciendo affirmatives, ¿verdad? Vamos a usar quizás el chat. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Quizás les voy a explicar un poquito más, aunque no está Excuse tan me. complicado. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Excuse me. Go ahead. Eh, tenía una duda. Eh, tenía problemas con mi señal y quería saber qué están haciendo ahorita. 
Estamos practicando affirmative and negative examples in simple present. In okay. simple present. Vaya, vamos a darlo con la fórmula. Let me see. Aquí está. Okay. Vaya, guys, recuerden que hay muchos que ya captaron el tema y eso me alegra mucho, pero habemos otros que aún no hemos entendido al 100%. Entonces, vamos a dar un pequeño explanation para los que aún no han entendido. Básicamente se usa lo que es el orden, ¿verdad? Siempre tienen que tener un orden para hablar en inglés. Van a usar un subject. ¿Ustedes saben cuáles son los subjects? ¿Quién me dice los subjects? I, 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 she, they, I, I, you, you, he, he, she, 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 Ok, a estas okay. alturas ya tenemos que saber cuáles son los subject pronouns. Después de eso, tenemos un verb. verb. Okay. ok, after that, we have the complement. Ok, fácil. Yeah. I ride my motorcycle to work. That's for me. That's for me. In my negative, I, I, what is the auxiliary? Don't or doesn't? Don't. Don't. I don't. don't correct. I don't, don't walk. That's for me. Okay. Now I have okay. to say my father, my father or my mother or my sister. For example, my sister, my sister, my sister, Clary, that's her name. <laughs> my sister, her. My sister Clary drives. Aquí lo ponemos con S. Yeah? Yes. Porque es tercera persona. My sister Clary drives to work. Okay. What is the auxiliary? The negative auxiliary? Doesn't. 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 doesn't porque estamos hablando doesn't. de tercera persona. Que es ella. She doesn't. Doesn't. Think. Uh, taxi, for example. Okay, so that's the exercise you have to do right now. Give me your examples. Give me your examples, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. Go ahead. Uh huh. ¿Quién está pendiente? Vamos, vamos, vamos. My sister. Mm -hmm. My sister um, is the is is happening vamos a usar un action verb en este caso jose no va a ser is sino un action okay. verb ya sea drive ya sea walk ya sea take ya sea whatever action verb okay okay estamos hablando de transportation puedes basarte en eso entonces eh, sería my brother um, my brother driving. Okay. See. So yeah, my brother. Uh huh. My brother uh, uh driving. El verbo como sería? Okay, sería drive. Verdad? Okay, my uh -huh. brother drive. Pero como es tercera persona, ¿qué hacemos? Um, Guys, ¿qué hacemos con el verbo? Le agregamos una S. Entonces decimos, my brother drives. Y lo, okay. lo escribimos y lo pronunciamos. Yes. My brother okay. drives to work. ¿O, o a dónde? ¿A la universidad? Um, yes. Entonces, to my the... brother drives in the... To the... To the... To, to, the, the, to the university. All right, university. Negative, okay, you have the positive, yeah, okay? My brother drives 
to the university. Ahora, negative. Negative. Okay. Sería my brother. My brother does. ¿Cuál sería el auxiliar negativo para él? Sería don't or doesn't. Don't. don't or no. No. Doesn't. doesn't. Vaya, ¿con quién vamos a usar don't? Lo vamos a escribir acá. I, you, we, and they. ¿Qué vamos a usar con ellos? Don't. El don't. Don't. Y con terceras okay. personas, terceras personas, solo terceras personas. He, she, okay. it, sería doesn't. Doesn't. Okay. Doesn't. Please doesn't. remember that. Go ahead, Ana, go ahead. Ya lo tiene, vamos. Ok, sería... Eh, Va, per bro. Permitime, permitime, Josecito, permitime, que Anita ya la tiene. Anita, go ahead. Eh, my family takes a bus, a bus. My family takes a bus. bus. Ok. We, we doesn't take a taxi to go to church. Ah, vaya, solo que ahí me lo puso en plural. Eh, entonces, we, we, ¿cuál sería el auxiliar negativo para we? Doesn't. Don't. 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 Okay. Don't. Sería don't. we. We don't. We don't. We don't take a taxi. Takes a taxi. To, to church. To church. Very good, Ana. Thank you. Jose, vamos a terminar el tuyo, Jose. Negative. Okay. Eh, sería, entonces, my brother doesn't. Yes. Eh, doesn't and to the university or no. Te faltó el verbo. Te faltó el verbo. El verbo. Uh -huh. Bueno, en la primera dijimos, my brother drives to the university. Entonces podrías cambiarlo como, my brother doesn't walk to the university. Ok. okay. Volunteer. Any other volunteer? Do we have any other one? Yo, yo, yo. Teacher. Go ahead, Nelson. Go ahead. Me, me, me. Me, teacher, okay. me. <laughs> <laughs> my brother Ernesto doesn't walk to work. He has a new car. Ooh, he drives. Ooh, he, drives. he drives to work. On a new car. Lucky, lucky <laughs> him, huh? Okay. And you? What about you, Nelson? Can you tell me about you? No. <laughs> Can you tell me about you, your personal example? Uh, um, uh, I drive um, a car to work. And what's your I, negative example? Uh -huh, uh, I don't walk to work. Good for you. Good for you. Congrats. Congrats. You got it, Nelson. Next student. Next participant. Are you ready? Are you ready now? Come on, come on. One, one question. Go ahead. Teacher. Yes. It's correct uh, um, to say, I don't live over here. I don't live over here. See, sí, yo no vivo por este lado, por este sector, right? Quizás anda oh. solo de visita, right? Ese es el contexto. Okay, it's correct, means it's correct. Bueno, no tenemos más ejemplos. No more examples. My mother um, doesn't cook the dinner. Repeat. My mother doesn't cook the dinner. My mother doesn't cook dinner. Quítenme el yes. D. Okay. My mother doesn't cook dinner. Correct. That's the negative. Okay. Can you give an affirmative? Can you give one affirmative? My mother cooks lunch. Correct. Y le alcancé a escuchar la letra S, Miss. La felicito. My mother okay. cooks lunch. Muy bien. Alguien, alguien todavía. Va, va a participar. Um, me teacher. Who? What's your the name? 
Uh, my name is Edgardo. Okay. Oh, oh, yeah, example, Edgardo, yes, go ahead. My example is my best friend drives to work. She works in San Salvador, but she lives in Merapan. She doesn't take the bus. Very good. Repitamos el verbo live. Live. Live or lies. No, live. live. Lo que pasa es que este verbo tiene diferente eh, uso, estimado Edgardo. ¿okay? Si estamos hablando de un programa de televisión, de un evento, right, que está en vivo, vamos a decir live. It's live. Okay, que está en vivo. Pero el verbo vivir, la acción de vivir, right, it's live. La tercera persona es lives. A veces lo podríamos confundir con la palabra en sí, que es life, vida. Así que cuidado ahí, ¿verdad? La acción es live. La tercera persona, lives. Thank you so much, Edgardo. Somebody else? Sí. Vamos. Teacher. Yes. No sé si estoy bien, pero dice, I am not very, I am not very tall. Si sí estás bien, ese, ese es un I am not very tall, I am not very tall. No soy muy alto, I am not very tall. Está bien, entra en las negativas de el simple present, solo que en este momento no estamos usando el verbo to be. Quisiera que usaras un verbo de acción, como, como drive, como take, como walk. ¿Sí? Porque estamos también haciendo los negativos, usando con el auxiliar. Entonces, en este okay. caso, necesito un action verb. ¿Anita tiene otra o se le quedó la manito arriba? Uh, no, se me quedó la mano. Ahorita la bajo. Ah, ok, Miss. No problem, no problem. Ajá. Este, miren la mía si está bien. Vamos. My mom walks home. Yes, yes. My mom walks home. Su mami camina hacia la casa. Ok. My mom walks home. ¿Cómo sería en negativo? Una negativa en ese caso. My, My mom. mom does no. Usted me dijo My mom walks home. ¿Verdad? Uh -huh. Vaya, entonces ahora una negativa. She. She. Ayudémosle, guys. She. What? She. What? She don't. Auxiliary. She. She doesn't. She doesn't. She doesn't. She doesn't. She doesn't. She doesn't. And the verb. Tenemos que usar uno diferente, ¿ya? She doesn't. She doesn't. What? She doesn't. Take, take, a bus. take a bus. Correct. She doesn't take a bus. Muy bien. Capicha, Gladys. Ahí vamos, ¿verdad, Gladys? Affirmative and positive. ¿Cómo sería para usted, Gladys? ¿Cómo sería personal? I. I. I'm sorry. I the bus. El verbo. ¿Cuál sería el verbo ahí para bus? Class, class, class. Para bus. I take. Take. I take es la acción de, no, no de tomar, sino de abortar. I take the bus. I take the bus. Ok, vaya. ¿La negativa cómo sería? Okay. I. I don't. I don't. I don't. Y ahora otro verbo, ¿verdad? Yeah. I don't take. I don't take, I don't take a taxi, for example. Okay. Thank you so much for your participation. Vamos otra vez acá a la presentation. One moment, please. discussion forums. All right, let's move on. This is a knowledge check, ¿verdad? Que tenemos que completar. Deberán ustedes pues completarlo, right? Complete it, please. 
your own pace. Next objective is use irregular verbs. Guys, los verbos más comunes en inglés son los irregulares, ¿verdad? Quizás el 60 o el 70% de lo que usamos al día son irregulares. Y se llama irregulares porque cambian, ¿verdad? They change. Cambia el presente, es a veces, a veces, no siempre, es eh, diferente al pasado. A veces, no siempre, es diferente al pasado participio. Ustedes saben que cada verbo viene en cinco tiempos, ¿verdad? Pero los esenciales son el presente, el pasado y el pasado participio. Entonces, hay que aprenderse un verbo en los tres tiempos como mínimo. En presente, en pasado y en pasado participio. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn to form simple present statements using irregular verbs. Let me start by explaining verbs. In English we have two types of verbs. Regular verbs and irregular verbs. Regular verbs form the majority of the verbs in English and irregular verbs are a small portion of all the verbs that exist in the English language. We need to learn both in order to achieve English fluency. In this case, we will talk about three irregular verbs that are used all the time to express ourselves. Have, do, and go. Let's analyze the chart on the screen. Simple present statements with irregular verbs. <clears throat> okay, check it out, check it out. Y vamos a ver acá, acá estábamos, ok, ok, y quiero ver, se me fue el nombre, Eric, creo que fuiste Eric quien estaba usando el verbo to be, o Brian, no, Brian, verdad, vaya Brian, estos son action verbs, los que vamos a ver ahorita, son unos de tantos action verbs, acuérdense que hay que ir poco a poco, verdad, entonces, los tres verbos que vamos a introducir ahora son el verbo have, Can you repeat? Have. Uh, have. Do. Do. And. and go. 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 Vaya. Vamos a aprender el verbo have en su forma base y en su tercera persona. ¿Quién sabe la tercera persona? Has. 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 Have. Uh, has. 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 Uh, Tenemos el verbo do. Ok, el verbo uh, have. ¿Qué es el verbo have? Tener. Tener. Es de possession, right? Possession. Possession, sí. Do, el verbo do. What is do? Hacer. Hacer. ¿Cuál es la tercera persona? What is the third person? Das. 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 Do. Das. Y tenemos el verbo go. What's the meaning of go? Ir. Ir hacia un lugar, ¿verdad? Usualmente lo usamos con la preposición to, porque to es de dirección. Go to the supermarket, go to the mall, go to work. Entonces, la tercera persona. Well. Go. Go. Repeat, I have a bike. I have a bike. I have a bike. My father has a car. My father has a car. Okay. We do our homework every day. We do our homework every day. My mother does a lot of work at home. My parents go to work by bus. My parents go to work by bus. The bus goes downtown. The bus goes downtown. Bueno, practiquen entonces hacer eh, oraciones afirmativas y negativas usando estos verbos, estos tres verbos a manera de práctica, eh, ejemplos personales y siempre ejemplos usando una tercera persona, de las dos formas, por favor, ¿ok? Vamos a terminar con la attendance. We're gonna call attendance real quick.
One moment, please. Okay. Bueno, vamos a mencionar solo los que pues no habían eh, respondido, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver si ya se agregaron. Okay, we have um, Avner y Tiel Cano Silvestre. Missing in action. Helen y Dalia Ramos de Escalante. Present teacher. Thank you. Jessica Marielos Montes Gómez. Missing in action. Joana Abigail Flores Díaz. Missing in action. Juan Rafael Esquina Aguilar. Nelson Rolando Melgar. Here I am. Yo, yo lo, escuché, lo escuché al inicio, pero el micrófono creí que estaba bueno, pero no, no se oía. A veces se nos va eso, ya me ha pasado, créame. <ríe> no se preocupe, no worries. Nelson y Oscar Alberto Aguilar Romero. Present. Thank you, sir. Rosemary, Rosemary Beatriz Ramirez Sumeta. I am. I You're am right there. Here. Uh -huh, I like it, Miss Sumeta. Then we have Miss Sofia Elizabeth Perez Ruiz. Missing in action. And Wendy Abigail. Rivera de Escamilla. I'm here. All right, thank you. Entonces, al final fueron uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco sure. ausentes. Dígame. Eh, yo me levanté un momentito, pero aquí estaba en la clase. Ana Coreas. Ana Coreas. Sí, ahí está Anita Coreas. Ana Gabriela. Sí. Sí, eh, guys, eh, la, la asistencia sí es importante, eh, no se preocupen si, como nos pasó con Nelson, ¿verdad? Si no lo logramos a la primera, lo logramos en la segunda, y eh, acuérdense que sus minutos de conexión ahí quedan grabados, ¿verdad? No hay donde perderse si usted eh, faltó o, o estuvo en la clase. Así que vamos a ver, eh, me sale aquí Mind Do Sick. No sé qué es eso, Miss. ¿Cuál sería su nombre, Miss? Helen. Helen. Helen, ya decía yo, no puede ser, decía eso. yo. Helen, ¿cómo se ha sentido, Helen? ¿Qué tal? Eh, un poquito nerviosa. <risa> Pero si todavía no le hemos preguntado, le queremos preguntar. Ay. <risa> ok. Ok, perfecto, perfecto. Entonces vamos a escuchar a... Vilma, Heidi, díganos, Vilma, ¿cómo se siente en este programa? Aquí que usted está estudiando inglés a las nueve de la noche. ¿Quién iba a decir que usted a las nueve de la noche iba a estar, va de bla, bla, bla en inglés, verdad? Sí, no es. Sé mucho, hablo. Cuando antes estábamos en las redes sociales, aquí ¿verdad? Aquí estás viendo la tele entender. o algo, ahora estás acá. ¿Cómo te sientes, Vilma, con esta oportunidad? Me gusta, me gusta. Es mejor estar aquí. Sí. Me parece. Estás bien sí. acompañada. Ya en viste, estás pueda... rodeada de todos tus compañeros que tienen el mismo sueño que tú. Sí. Perfecto, sí. Me gusta. Perfecto, perfecto. Bonito, y Abigail, Abigail Noemí Martínez. ¿Qué nos dices tú, Abigail? Hola. Ajá. Cerramos Hola. contigo. Díganos, dinos. Bien, con un poquito de sueño. Ah, sueño. Ok. <ríe> All right. Good night. See you tomorrow at 9 p.m. At 9 p.m. See you later, alligators. Good night, teacher. Say goodbye. Good night. Say goodbye. Good night. So long. Good night, everybody. See you tomorrow, for sure. See you tomorrow.